So I'm here with uh, Rob Vitter from ICO. And Rob, it's really nice to see you today at the Connect for Change in the Spotlight Day. Um, what are the things that stand out for you uh, from the discussions today and from your experience about what, what can others learn from Connect for Change? Uh, I think a key thing uh, we learned is that um, people really need to be trained to, to become effective with, with ICTs. So the tools must be right, to the, the, the targeting of, let's say, the objectives, what we want to achieve with these tools should also be right. If you start introducing ICT in a program that's not aimed right, it will not make the difference because the objectives are not right. Yeah. Uh, so you need to combine the, the, the sectoral knowledge with, with the ICT knowledge. Uh, but once this combination is correct, you can still, uh, you will still find enormous uh, barriers in being able to use, being able to replicate, being able to spread out the, the use of ICTs. So I think um, on all levels, even in, in our own organizations, in the ICO, I'm saying, Yes, if you have the ICTs right, it's fine, but if you don't uh, give the, the staff or the people who have to work with the ICT sufficient training, show them what they can do with the tools, it will not work. Yeah. So now you have to motivate them, and it can only be done if they can get the feel of, okay, this is right, this is going to help me. Yeah, and in the context of what we're talking about is very geographically dispersed people, are we? We're talking about people who have a lot of parts of the world uh, so that's a tough challenge isn't it to get that training in place and do that cost effectively uh, yes but also the ICTs can play a big role there yeah uh, one one way or the other huh? one way is you you establish your centers and there uh, you get the people together and then they get their, they get their introduction on uh, on the ICTs on how to work with the computer and once they understand the computer they can also work with the, with a mobile phone because it's, the systems are basically the same uh, the other thing is the ICTs may help you in reminding the people, okay, now we have this training, so we come together at that time. Yeah. Uh, or you can even make a video of this is how it works, and you just show it locally and you don't have to go there. Yeah. So there are some very many new ways of operating that people can learn from, from working with ICTs. So um, ICO's role in Connect for Change focused on economic development, and a lot of that was focused around farming and areas like that, wasn't it, and, and agriculture. And yeah, it was economic development because what we say from ECO's side is the demand should lead the technological development. Uh, we, we need uh, a market for the product and if that's fine and if we know what the market demands, then we can train uh, farmers on how to fulfill that demand, how to supply. Um, and once that combination is right, we got the feedback, for example, from, from Kenya, but also Burkina Faso. If the combination is right, then the ICTs create an enormous uh, wave of new demand for a good product. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm very enthusiastic about this combination. I mean, it strikes me that this area, that that, that particular field uh, is, is of, of um, ICT in the context of, you're talking about, is going to get very, very, very big over time because certainly if, you're, if, you're, if you've got uh, agricultural communities trying and, and helping them adapt to demand, um, there's, there's, a, there's a huge opportunity there, isn't there? Well, what we see, for, for example, from, from Kenya, but also uh, Peru, is um, you are first you're, you're doubling the prices and then uh, in, in a year's time farmers will start doubling their production so they're increasing four times yeah. in two or three years time because they that's because they are sure they that work. once they have the market they know the prices they know it's remunerative okay then they will start planting more then they will encounter technical problems which we can solve with our videos and our teachings on what how, how to produce better or how to control a pest or how to yeah. better fertilize etc etc yeah. and then it's the demand from the farmers that leads the extension and the extension can be given th through video and other means right so well, that's how it works in my perspective well rob it was really nice to meet you today thanks a lot first of all i would like to say that i'm really happy to be here today um, because I think it's really important to uh, look into the insights 
of uh, working together for four or five years in a consortium. Um, I have had great experiences with working into the consortium. So you've been working in a couple of countries, haven't you? Yeah, I'm, uh, I have been working uh, with Connect for Change in Malawi and Ghana. And uh, I have also uh, been involved in starting the program in Bolivia and Peru. Yeah, well, and that's where we met in Bolivia. Yeah. The major insight from today is uh, that I believe that we are all uh, very strong organizations with very good experience and um, very complementary to each other. Um, ACFO, Text to Change, and, Connect and ICD had uh, more technical experience, mm. um, while Educans, uh, ECHO, and Cordate had uh, the more um, experience on the content of certain subjects like education, health, and economic development, which was perfect. Was um, uh, really the for me, at the beginning, it, it sounds like the, the perfect marriage, the perfect arranged marriage. Um, There's a bot coming, isn't there? Yeah, but, <laughs> but um, it was really a, a missed opportunity to really sit down with the, with the people um, who had the uh, program IDs, like, like me, for example, who are really working with the partners uh, in the countries um, to really sit down, uh, learn more about each other's experience um, and then starting thinking about ideas, developing our ideas, thinking about which partners do we need in the South and not necessarily um, uh, let's definitely go with the partners of Educans or we have to go with the partners of IICD but that we could um, yeah, more think about what is our ID and what are the perfect partners to implement. Yeah. And that was a missed chance. It was a missed opportunity um, because things were already very much arranged um, beforehand in the proposal. Yes. Okay. So that's really my, my uh, uh, tip to uh, other... Uh, so uh, summarize that for me again in yeah. 20 seconds, that, that tip. Um, Take time to uh, get to know each other, to learn about each other's experience, uh, expertise. Uh, don't uh, uh, stick to the current partners you have, but look into new partners, new opportunities. Great. That's the basics. Me, thank you.